Hey everyone, today's video is going to be another Tesco food haul. It has been a little while since I last filmed one of these. Normally I tend to do a bigger online shop every six to eight weeks or so. But I think it's been a fair bit longer than that since my last Tesco shop, maybe like three months or so. Essentially I just kept putting it off. Every time I went to do one I was like no, I can't be bothered, it's too much faff, when in reality it's probably a lot easier than just going to the shops. But I got around to it, I've finally done one. You can probably see all my shopping on the sofa behind me, so I'm gonna share with you guys what I picked up. In total, I think this came to around £48 or so. There are a couple of things that didn't get delivered, so I've tried to like knock that off the price, and I think it's around £48. So I will show you guys what I picked up this week. So this is an overview of everything I picked up this week. I'm going to start with the frozen bits because, like usual, I don't want them to defrost on my sofa. The first thing that I picked up are these Tesco Rocket Lollies. These were a pound, and I feel like maybe I was a little bit hopeful with these. The weather has just not been great for like June and July, even for UK weather, so I'm hoping I might need these at some point. I just thought they'd be nice to have in the freezer for whenever there's like a really hot day. Haven't really needed one so far, but fingers crossed the weather gets a little bit sunnier. I then picked up some of these corn, like vegan chicken dinosaurs. These were £2.20 and they're for an upcoming taste test, so when I try these I will share my thoughts with you guys. I got two packets of these frozen strawberries and blueberries, these were £2 each, and I'm on a little bit of a porridge hype at the moment, so I thought these would be a good addition to my porridge. And then finally for frozen foods I got a couple of different veg bits, so I got these green beans for 76p and these soybeans for £2. These are definitely my most used frozen veg. Green beans I will have with like just about anything. If I'm doing any sort of like roast meal, sausage and mash, I'll do green beans. If I'm doing any sort of pasta dish, I'll do garlic and chili green beans, which are really good. So I do tend to get through these fairly quickly. And then in terms of the soybeans, I will have these in a lot of like Asian dishes. If I'm making a katsu curry, I'll also have some of these. If I'm making some sort of like tempeh salad, which I've been doing recently, I tend to have some of these as well. They're a really good source of vegan protein, so I thought I would stock up on some more of those. Moving on to the fridge bits, quite a few of these things are for an upcoming taste test as well. But first of all, I got these Plant Chef burgers. These are £1.50, and these are some of my absolute faves. You will have definitely seen these in food halls before. I think they're really good. I think they're really good value for money, and for like a good meat alternative, I think they do the trick. So I had to pick up a couple of those. I got these Wicked Kitchen garlic and herb kebabs made with wheat and pea protein for £3.50. Some Richmond vegan bacon for £2.50, and these Plant Chef ham slices for £1.55. These will all be in that upcoming taste test, so I'll share my thoughts with you guys then. And then finally for fridge bits, I got this Outpro Greek style yogurt for £1.60. I did originally put in the like Tesco own version of this, but they substituted it, so I'm not complaining. This one is definitely probably the pricier one. I don't think I've actually tried the Outpro Greek style yogurt before, so I'm quite excited to give this a go. Next up, I've got the fruit and veg bits that I picked up. I feel like I picked up less fruit and veg than I normally do. I don't know, I think I'm conscious at the moment not to buy too much and then waste food or be stuck with having like the same meals every single day. I think I've quite enjoyed doing weekly shops rather than bigger food shops because of that, because then I can just pick up what I fancy each week. But I did pick up a few different bits and bobs. I got some baby spinach for 99p. This is a smaller bag than the one I would normally go for. They didn't have the bigger one in stock, so I will definitely get through this fairly quickly. I got two bags of baby plum tomatoes for 65p each. Normally I'd go for cherry tomatoes, but again, they didn't have them in stock. And then really annoyingly, one of these bags was ripped open and like half the tomatoes are missing when it arrived. So yeah, missing half a bag, but I got one and a half bags, I guess. And I go through these really quickly. I'll put these in salads. I make a lot of pasta dishes with fresh tomatoes, so these are definitely a staple for me. I got a cucumber for 43p, again this will mostly be used in salads. I got a bag of mixed peppers for 96p and I really lucked out with the pepper choices they gave me. Green peppers are my absolute least favourite pepper ever, so the fact that I haven't got a single one in this bag, feel like I've hit the jackpot slightly. These will be used in salads, they'll be used in fajitas, curries, literally anything I make, I'll put a pepper in there, so I'll get through these fairly quickly as well. I got two avocados for 75p each. These are definitely ready to go, so I'm gonna have to eat these fairly quickly. 
I feel like I'm going to be having a lot of avocado on toast or avocado on bagel this week so that is where I'll be using those. I got some garlic for 55p which I may or may not have opened already. This was just to stock up because I'd ran out and obviously I put garlic in just about anything. Finally for fruits I got some bananas for 75p. These will just be for snacking and then once they're super ripe I will freeze these and use them in smoothies. I got a lime for 30p for whenever I make avocado on toast. And then I've also got some satsumas for £1.35. These have been my absolute favourite thing ever at the moment. I don't know what it is, I just can't get enough of them. So I'm going through like three or four a day, hoping that that means I've got good vitamin C levels. But yeah, I had to pick up another bag of those. And then last but not least, moving on to all of the cupboard items. I got a few different carb options this week. I actually treated myself to some rigatoni which doesn't probably seem like a treat to a lot of people. This was a pound and I do tend to normally go for like the 20p penne pasta, but I just fancied a treat. So I thought I would go for something a little bit different. This is obviously more of like a bougie pasta brand than the one that I'm used to, but I just fancied it this week. So that is why I picked that up. I stocked up on three packets of the 35p whole grain rice. I feel like I say this in a lot of my videos, but I do tend to try and make my own rice where I can. But this stuff just comes in handy when I really just don't have a lot of time to make dinner or I just really can't be bothered to wait. I think the last rice that I picked up takes like 35 minutes to cook or something ridiculous. So this stuff is always a little bit of a lifesaver and I like to have a few in the cupboard just in case. So that is why I grabbed three of those. I picked up these wraps for £1.20. These were another item that was substituted. So I originally went for like the cheaper option of these. So not complaining that I got the more expensive one, although you do get less in the packet. But these I'll just use for fajitas if I make any other sort of wrap. Obviously I'll use these. I like making garlic wraps as well with just a little bit of garlic butter if I'm having pasta. So haven't had these for a few weeks actually and I thought I would just pick some up this week. I got some crumpets for 25p and just one of these small toasty loaves for 50p. Recently when I didn't feel very well I didn't have any sort of like bread item in the fridge or freezer and that is like the one thing I crave when I'm not very well. I just want plain toast or a plain crumpet with butter and marmite. And because I didn't have any of those, I was like, okay, next shop, I need to stock up. I find it really hard with sliced white bread not just to eat it all in one go. So I am going to put this in the freezer. And then when I need it in an emergency, I need a plain slice of toast. I will have it ready to go. So that is why I grabbed those. Crumpets, I will get through very quickly. They're normally like my weekend breakfast. So... We'll get through those probably in a week or so because I love a good crumpet. Also with the fancy rigatoni, I got my trusty 20p spaghetti. I get this every time I do a food shop because you can't really go wrong with it. It's great. It's literally 20p and I'm a big spaghetti person. I definitely eat spaghetti more than I eat pasta. So I go through this stuff very quickly. And then my final kind of bready item are these ciabatta rolls, which are a pound for four. Again, something that I've recently started having in my freezer because these go so well with so many different things. If I'm having burgers, I can use one of these. I can toast them for bruschetta or like avocado on toast. I feel like they're just a bit nicer than standard bread and again, something that keep really well in the freezer. So that is why I picked those up. I then got a few snacky bits. So I got these corn cakes for £1.29. These things are so good. I think they taste so much better than rice cakes, but I just tend to not be able to find them very easily. They essentially taste like popcorn in like a solid cake form that you can put stuff on. So these are really good for snacking. I like putting like peanut butter or vegan cream cheese or just butter on these. They're super Moorish and I feel like they're a really good thing to have in the cupboard. I treated myself to this Curiously Cinnamon Churro cereal. This was £2.90. This again will be part of the taste test, so I'll share my thoughts then. But this stuff just looks so good. And I've definitely mentioned before, but cereal is just one of my favourite snacks ever. And I don't think I've had cereal for the last like four weeks and I've really been missing it. So I can't wait to have this open and then in an evening have a bowl of cereal. Touch wood, it tastes good because... It looks so good. I feel like it's going to taste like cinnamon toast crunch and that is definitely a great cereal. So we'll have to see what this tastes like. Also on the cinnamon hype, I got these cinnamon scrolls from the Wicked Kitchen range. These are £1.80. These were something that I tried to pick up probably in my last Tesco food haul and they were substituted and I was pretty gutted. 
Cinnamon rolls are probably my favourite baked good ever. So I've really missed them since being vegan. My mum makes some great homemade ones. So I'm gonna put these to the test in terms of like a supermarket own one. They look really great. I mean, they look a little bit weird. I don't think they look like the standard cinnamon roll that you tend to buy. But I'm hoping they taste good. I'm definitely very excited to give these a go. And then the final snacky item are these tortilla chips for 45p. These are again, something that I pick up in most of my food shops. I just like having these in the cupboard. I like snacking on them. If I make any sort of Mexican dish, I'll use them. I feel like they're just good at adding a little bit of crunch. I'll put them in wraps. I'll have chili with them. So I had to stock up on some more of those. And then finally, we've got pretty much the reason I did this online shop in the first place. All of the heavy items that I hate lugging back from town. So I got four of my trusty soy milks. These are 55p each. These are probably one of my favorite vegan milk alternatives because I just don't think they're very offensive. They're pretty flavorless and I feel like they work well in hot drinks and cereal, etc. So had to stock up on some more of those. I also got my trusty gherkins back there, which are a pound for a big jar. Again, I'd run out of these a few weeks ago and I just didn't want to add them to my weekly food shops because they're so heavy and I don't want to carry it back from town. I will snack on these. I'll have them in burgers. When I make burger sauce, I blend them up as part of that and they taste really great. So I've definitely been missing these. When I've been out of them for the past couple of weeks. I got four cartons of tomato passata for 35p each. These will be used in pasta sauces, curries, bolognese, chilies, anything like that. Again, another one of those things that I just like to have in the cupboard. I got four cans of the reduced sugar and salt baked beans. These are four for a pound and again, just to stock up so I've got some in the cupboard. Beans on toast is definitely like a trusty meal for lunch or breakfast. I also like beans on a jacket potato, so I had to grab some more of those. And then finally for cans, I got two cans of green lentils and two cans of black beans, both 55p each. I'll put these in a range of different dishes. I like making green lentil curries. I'll put them in bolognese as like a mince substitute. Black beans I'll put in fajitas or quesadillas or any sort of like Mexican dish. If I'm making a chili, I'll always use black beans. So again, just had to stock up on some more of those. And then to go with all those Mexican dishes, I had to pick up some fajita seasoning. So this smoky fajita seasoning is like the Tesco own brand, 60p, which is definitely a bargain because the other ones are like a pound, I think, which I think for like a sachet of seasoning is super overpriced but the smoky one is my absolute favorite and I don't tend to find the Tesco own version of this. So really I should probably have stocked up with a few more of these, but I'll put these in any sort of Mexican dish I'm making. And then finally, I got a jar of Marmite for £2.49 to replace the one that I'm currently using because I'm almost out. Obviously I'm on team love, out of love it or hate it. I love some Marmite on toast. So I have to grab some more of that. So that is everything I picked up in this week's food shop. Obviously a bunch of these things will last me a lot longer than a week. I'm expecting this whole food shop to probably last me a couple of weeks, I reckon. There are some things that will last me a few months. There'll be some things that I get through very quickly and obviously some things that I picked up for a taste test as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.